everybody. How we doing? I got a fantastic meal set up for us today. And I have a fantastic guest with us today, Miss Marina Duce. She is probably my number one fan. She has <laughs> been texting me and hitting me up since the very first video I put out. So uh, I felt obliged to put her on my uh, on my video, all right? <laughs> so her name is Marina Duce, but everybody calls her- Mima. Mima, that's right, okay? <laughs> So listen, today we are gonna have some uh, pork steaks with pork sausage, with some baby llama beans, and probably some bread, but we don't have no bread with us just yet, but we'll get some in just a sec. So listen, this is a fantastic meal. We're gonna show you how to cook it. Nima wanted to do a gravy. She wants to per uh, perfect her skills at gravy, and we're gonna make that happen today, right? Yep, absolutely. Sounds good. All right, so stay tuned. I'll get with it in just a sec. While my uh, while my guest here is cutting up some sausage, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our beans. We're gonna get our beans ready to roll, and uh, that's gonna probably take the longest to cook because they're a little bit tougher than anything else. So we're gonna get these beans rolling, and we're just gonna dump them in here. All right, and then we're gonna take some of that sausage that she cut up in there, and we're gonna put it in our beans. Uh oh, don't spill like that. <laughs> All right, and these ham hocks we're gonna have, we're gonna put that last there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these ham hocks. Smoked. Smoked ham hocks, very good, I like that. <laughs> So we're gonna put these in here. That's gonna give us the fat we need. It's gonna give us a little bit of the smoke flavor that we need. That's good. You can put a little bit more. All right. All right. All right, now that we got that in here, I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. I don't wanna season it just, just yet. What I want to do is I want to let these beans kind of soften up a little bit. Then we're going to season it. Just the seasoning from this ham hocks and a little bit of that uh, uh, smoked sauce is going to help that out. So what I want to do is I'm going to let this cook. We're going to let this come to a boil. Once that, once those beans soften up a little bit, we're going to put some Captain Cobas on there and then absorb some of that seasoning with it. Make the beans taste fantastic. Perfect. Got that? <laughs> While Ms. Duce uh, gets our vegetables cut up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of start browning our sausage right here. So, what I everybody knows I like to use coconut oil uh, so we can get our sausage going. And then what we'll do while the sausage are going, we're gonna get these pork steaks cut up and get them all seasoned up. Uh, Mima, do you know why I use coconut oil? Um, it can burn at a higher temperature. That's right. Yeah. And then you use the non-hydrogenated, so it doesn't taste like uh, like coconut. That's right. You want to <laughs> use the. Uh, you don't want to get the extra virgin. If you get the extra virgin coconut oil, all your food will taste like coconut. This one doesn't. It doesn't taste like coconut at all. But it does have that high heat. It can take the heat good, right? And uh, to me, it makes your food taste so much better. Good job. <laughs> That's why she's my number one fan, y'all. She watches. She knows. She learns. I love it. Stay tuned. We're gonna teach everybody. That's some pork sausage. pork sausage. All right. This is some uh, pork sausage. When I cook pork, mm -hmm. I like pork sausage. If I cook a steak, I like a kind of a mix, a, mix, a, a beef and pork mix. And if I cook chicken, chicken sausage. Chicken sausage. <laughs> That's my girl. You quick learn, I tell you. All right, let's get this cut up right quick, like and we'll get it all seasoned up. And for my pork steaks, listen, we, 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 we can keep them a little big, okay? Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm good with that. And I definitely like to cook with the bone. It gets all this marrow that's out of there. This will bleed out. It gives it that extra flavor. Trust me. I, I always like to cook with bones. So keep 
don't mind one just a little piece with it, not a big old piece, right? Well, I'm not like that. <laughs> like a big piece. I want a big piece. <laughs> I got you. Uh, me too. <laughs> All right. We have our beans going. That pretty much takes care of itself while we're cooking. We have our sausage browning, right? Mm -hmm. Now we need to season our meat. So listen, the two most important things when you're cooking, especially Cajun food where you're doing any kind of gravy, number one, season your food well. That's everything. That's probably the most important thing is the way you season your food. And number two, how well you brown your meat, right? So number one ingredient when we season in pork, <laughs> Mustard, that's right. My girl's on it today, I tell you what. So let's get this put up in here. Alright. I'm gonna let you mix it up good too. Okay. Got little hands. That's alright, you'll be alright. You'll be alright. So listen, I like to make sure it's spread it. Come up on the on the on the head right there too. That way we get everything in there, alright? You might have to cook with me. <laughs> All right. That's enough? Just a little. That is good. That's what I'm talking about. Don't be scared. And listen, again, mustard is just a bunch of spices, okay? Don't be scared to use it. Makes your food awesome. Trust me. All right? You mixing? Yep. Let's get it all mixed up. Girl. Fantastic. And listen, I like to mix my mustard around first, and then after that, we'll season it, and we're gonna do all that all over again, okay? Perfect. I will let you season, but your hands are dirty. <laughs> and what's the number one thing right here? We season our food. Season it well, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. We season our food, especially down here in Cajun country, right? Yep. Season well, don't be scared. You got it, okay? Right. Let's, let's stir that up. Great job. Now listen, I like to dust it one more time. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread it around here again and then we're gonna just put a good layer on top of everything. Gotcha. Right. I'm gonna give this a bath of seasoning, right? <laughs> a bat. A bat. I'm gonna put a bat of seasoning right there. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna check on our sausage. See how we looking? Looking good, right? You don't want your fire too, too high with this. It won't get the snap crackling and popping on you right here. Okay. But we do want it brown well. Okay. Now listen, I'm gonna tell you a little sign. If you ever brown a sausage by itself, a good telltale sign right here is, you see on the side how this is really brown, mm -hmm. but the middle, it's still real soft right here. Right. That means your middle's not cooked. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to cook it down a little bit more where we can get that middle cooking, and then we'll take it out and we'll finish it off. Okay. okay. But for the browning part, we're pretty good. As you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of stick to the bottom, and that's what we're looking for. Yep. Okay? All right. All right, y'all. Got Miss Duce here for our uh, Cajun word of the day. <laughs> and our Cajun word of the day is bat <laughs> yeah, I like it now us Cajuns around here uh, it could mean a lot of things like hey go get your bat like you're about to go up to hit um, there's a bat that flies around blind, blind. <laughs> and if uh, you need to go take a bat and wash yourself that's what we say we understand this the word is bath <laughs> but us kids over hey boy you better go take a bat right go what your mom used to tell you when you were small <laughs> go get in that bat go get in bat let's go go take a bat so kid your word of the day bat, bat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. now what we're going to do is once you get that we're going to stack it as much as we can because that, that pork will shrink a little bit around there and let you get whatever you need there you go good job good job there you go, put all in there. You gotta move it the way you want. Good job. So what we're trying to do when we cook a lot of meat like this is get at least two. Sometimes we have to get three browns in there, but what we, what we really want to do is get two. So if we can get half and half, that'd be awesome. And I think we're gonna be able to do that today. Two things. Oh yeah. Okay.
All right, as you can see, we have our meat browning up pretty good right here. And one thing I want to show you is, do you see, a lot of people get confused about browning meat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see this part right here? Let me, let me kind of show the camera a little bit. See this part right here where it's seared? This is a good brown that you want on your meat. Okay, we're gonna let this go a little bit more. But if you get this, even though the meat is brown, no sear, no sear, not real browning. So we want to cook this down a little bit longer before we stick our next pot in there. All right, got that? Yep. Sear? No sear. <laughs> got it. All right, let's check on our beans. Okay. Check on our beans, see if they soft. Stir them up a little bit, let's see what we got. Looking good? Yep. Look, I'm gonna show you a little something. See how they're starting to wrinkle a little bit? Mm -hmm. Starting to soften up a little bit, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna let them go a little bit longer. I want them to be a little bit more wrinkly than that before we season them up. Okay. All right? All right, Derek, look like we browned up pretty good. Would you call that good? Looks good. Looks good right here. That's some good sear everywhere that we want. We have a lot more meat to brown, so stay tuned, maybe we come. All right, we got our meat out. We're about to kick off our second batch of meat right here. And as you can see, all these little grimies, we call them, are sticking to the pot. So what we want to do is to get a good dark gravy. We want to put a little water in that, and you're going to scratch that pot, right? Yep. You can handle that? Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to put you a little water. Now, listen, let it, let, let it, let it do that first. Okay. It's going to loosen it up for you a little bit. All right, go ahead and scratch it. Need a little more, let me know. Mine a little bit right there. All right, let's see what you got. Let it go. There you go. All right, let's scratch it up. There you go. So much easier, right? Yep. Let that water do the work for you. And look at that gravy. That's what our gravy is going to look like. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a pretty dark gravy. I like it. All right. Now that we got it scratched down, we're going to add our second uh, part of meat in there. Stuff it in there real good. Hey. I'm getting nervous. The girl got a knack for that. She might have the next cooking show on YouTube, right? I might have to go on your show. I like it. I like it. Let's check on our beans right here, man. Look like our, our shell has come off right there. Mm -hmm. See how we lost most of our shell? Let's see how soft we are. They break easy right here. Pretty easy. Then we're going to season it up and let it cook together. Oh, yeah. We good? We good. All right. All right, so let's season it up. And what we say? Season it. Season it good. Don't season be scared. It. Don't be scared. <laughs> There's a lot of beans in there. All right, that looks good. We're gonna mix this up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna taste it here mm -hmm. uh, as it starts cooking down. See okay. if we need to add some more. See if we need to add some more. We're gonna we're gonna do this to taste when it's all said and done. So we get pretty much what we want it. If we have to add a little bit, we do. Right. Only bad thing we can't take out if we add it too much. <laughs> <I know. laughs> all right, now that we browned up nicely, what we're gonna do is there's two ways to really do your onions and bell peppers. You can take all this meat out, brown your onions and bell peppers together. Or for a faster way is we can just dump this in right here and let that all cook together. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to dump. We had three onions, one bell pepper in there? Three onions and one pepper. Good job. And you know what? Most people have been asking me that, what I yeah. put. So now we know. Three onions and the bell pepper. Okay. And just stir that up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait to put this too. That way we don't have all that meat to stir at one time. So we're gonna let this cook down together. All right. And then once that's done, we'll add all our meat, add a little water. And it's a waiting game. All right. All right. This is what we look like. See how that got real thick and nice with our onions and bell peppers in there. Mimi did a fantastic job of browning this meat, girl. I'm not even gonna lie. Great job. Huh? All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're we'll gonna put the rest of this in there. You can stir that all up if you like. Okay. All right. Now what we wanna do is, 
I'll break it since it's already broken right here. I always keep my sausage whole, and I'm gonna tell you why. It's not cooked all the way through there, which we are cooked pretty good ways through there, but what we'll do is we'll just keep our sausage in here whole, and we'll let it cook down, and when it gets whole, we'll cut it after it's pretty much cooked, and it won't break apart with you. If you had to let some of your center not cooked all the way, it won't break apart until you meet. We'll just cook it all at the end, right? Cut the casing down. Cook the casing down, that's right. Look at that good. <laughs> I'll tell you what. All right, let's get a little water. See what we got. And when you're putting your water, just over the top of your meat like that, okay? That way we don't have a ton of water in there and it has to cook down forever. When it cooks down, it's gonna make a nice thick gravy, right? And look at this gravy already. It didn't even cook down. Look at that, it's pretty. Good change. All right, we'll put the lid on this and let it go. All right, now that we have our pork cooking, and we have our beans cooking, I think we're gonna get to know uh, Miss Ducey a little bit better, right? So Mima, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, first of all, let me say this. Uh, I've been knowing Mima a long time, probably since you were about 10, know, 11, 10 11 years old. She, she plays softball with my daughter. They kind of come up playing ball together. So I'm very partial to softball players. I love it. <laughs> um, in fact, the last time I seen her, she was probably only 16, maybe, 17. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Little playing little high school ball. And now she's all, she's all grown up. She's 21. <laughs> and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you played a little college ball, right? Yeah, I did. I played uh, two years at LSUE under Coach Andy Lee. And uh, we won a national championship my freshman year. Natty champs. Natty huh? champs. I like undefeated it. in the tournament. It was it was awesome. Uh, great experience. And then uh, my second I year, I reached my goal. I was all American, so I was super awesome. Uh, NJCA. So, awesome. Yep. And then after that, I went to Southeastern and played for one year there. And I got a uh, first team Southern Conference. So I was. She's good. a baller, y'all. In case you didn't know, she's a baller. <laughs> yeah. So it, it was awesome. And awesome. then I did uh, I did that pageant, <laughs> that pageant at LSUE. I was uh, Miss LSUE 2018. Had no idea what I was doing. Homecoming queen, <laughs> all American, homecoming queen, <laughs> national champion. Did you win? Did you win a, a won a high school too? Uh, no, we didn't win state okay. whenever I was there. I didn't go to Turling, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. So what you doing now? Um, I'm graduating from ULM in December. Uh, the biology degree, and I'm applying to PA school. <laughs> Way better than Captain Kobe out here cooking, right? I'm glad you're here. Listen, the girl gonna make it big, y'all. If you haven't figured it out yet, she's uh, very successful in everything she does. So uh, listen, when you make it big and you're on TV, <laughs> can I go on your show? Oh, on my show? That's what I'm talking about. Hey, stay tuned. The Mima Tuesday show. Captain Kobe will be cooking on there. We're gonna cook together. Huh? I love. It. And even guess what? This is on my show. What? Everything's cooked up uh, pretty close. We're gonna do a taste test. We do our taste test to see if our seasoning is right and uh, if it's good. So let's do say, see what kind of job you did today on your on your rice and gravy, Devin. Mm -hmm. Good, huh? Phenomenal. Uh, hey, you heard it, huh? <laughs> Phenomenal, babe. I've been trying to tell you. I did taste it too. It is really off the chain. You did yes. a great job. Great job. Seasoned perfectly. Hey, how you think that mustard does, Nora? So tender. Don't it make it? Don't it make it good? You can cut this with a spoon. No joke. Look at that. So good. Hey, babe. Captain Kobe brings it. <laughs> about to go make our plate. Show what it's all about. Y'all, it's gonna be so good. I can't wait to eat it. Look at that. Mm. Captain Kobe let me serve first today. I'm a special guest. Gotta get some of these beans too, y'all. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> Alright everybody, as you can see, everybody's enjoying this fantastic meal that Miss Duce cooked up for us today. Mm -hmm. And look, Chris, we even let Chris eat today. We didn't even make him wash no dishes today, Chris. <laughs> not yet. I like not yet anyway, that's right. Anyway, hey listen, Miss Duce, Miss Marie. Great job today. Thank you for coming. Absolutely enjoyed it. Uh, hope you all enjoyed and see you all next time in the kitchen.